Hello everyone and welcome to my channel or welcome back. I've tried now to start this video four times and I swear I'm just, my brain is just scattered. Um, so this is my melting box. So this is everything I'm going to melt for this week. Um, it's been a really busy week. I've been busy at work um, and a bit stressed out there. Had some various family kind of stresses. Been following the US election, which I'm sure is stressful for everybody. Um, there's just a lot of noise going on. Um, and you know, on the positive side, we've come out of um, come out of lockdown in Melbourne, Australia. So, um, or mostly, we've still got some rules, but um, we're actually able to you know go to shops and stuff like that. So we've been pretty busy just doing stuff um, that we weren't able to do sort of for a good few months. So, um, so yeah, I am probably going to sound a little bit scattered tonight, um, so bear with me. Uh, so I'll start with um, Maple and Wool Basic White Girl. This is, um, I think it's like a coffee pumpkin spice scent. Uh, I don't know if it's that spicy, it's definitely a kind of, it's a coffee scent. Um, it's not bad. Um, I will say I really struggled this week doing, pardon me, my picks because... The weather's getting warmer, but I'm still wanting bakery in the mornings. And I am finding it harder to pick bakeries that are not too heavy or spicy. Um, I think I really want fruity bakeries at the moment, and I just I just don't have enough. I've got so much wax, but I just don't have enough fruity bakery. So, um, yeah, that's something I kind of can't really don't want to be spending more money on to deal with. But um, I feel like I should deal with... I've got another four water box coming in the next week, so hopefully that sort of tops up, tops me up a little bit. Uh, so Maple and Model Afterlife Pie. So this one will do. Uh, fresh baked peach pie with crumbly buttery crust. Yeah, it's actually not as strong on the peach as most peach bakeries I've tried are. Like it's got quite a strong pie crust tone to it, which is actually quite nice. Um, Maple and Model The Conjuring. So a spooky concoction of passion fruit guava and tonka bean i think i did pick this for a morning melt because it is on the creamy side yeah the tonka bean gives it a really kind of smooth creaminess so that's nice uh unicorn dreams from maple model i'm doing all the big clams first and then i'll do the little ones the big clams these long eight stingy clams seem to be um australian brand so this is like a fizzy grapefruit scent. Um, this one from Scents by Sarah, who's now rebranded to Manar Lee, fruit salad and ice cream. So the top layer is vanilla ice cream. And then I don't know which, each of these bars is a different scent. So there's like pink apple, blackberry, strawberry, etc. Um, I wouldn't be surprised if the scents have sort of bled into each other a little bit. Because um, you can see... You can definitely see the colour has sort of bled because this the top layer was definitely white when I got it and now it's, um, yeah, there's been a lot of bleeding. So we'll see how that one goes. I probably maybe should have melted it a bit sooner when I got it. A maple and model magic is real. So sparkling blackberry, pomegranate, plum and kefir lime. I think this is going to be really beautiful. Yeah, it smells like a really nice sharp kind of, it's quite tart but in a really good way. Uh, super tarts, the conjuring, so cappuccino, cream cheese, frosting, butterscotch, whipped cream. Um, just a really nice, you know, it's got a little bit of richness to it, but it's not too bad, um, for a coffee scent. My favorite coffee scent, I think, or close to, uh, super tarts, Gandalf, so sweetened cereal, marshmallow, sugary milk, that is magically delicious with coffee bean and vanilla cream. <sighs> Such a good staple coffee scent. No spice, just beautiful coffee. Uh, Super Tarts Beast, so blueberry cornbread. Love this. I was melting um, the Grudge today, which is another fantastic blueberry scent from her, but that one is my favourite, I think. Uh, pumpkin Parcel Aries. I can't remember exactly what's in here. I know there's a lot. The thing that comes out the most to me is Dragon's Blood. I know there's definitely Dragon's Blood in that one. Uh, Super Tarts is a jolly, jolly holiday, so funnel cakes and blackberry. This to me does have kind of, it's like a spicy fruity scent, so I like it. Uh, Super Tarts is always tea time, so that's uh, Earl Grey tea, tea cakes, peppermint and whipped cream. 
kind of unusual blend, but it works. And I'm not even a big peppermint fan, but I do like it. Uh, leftover from last week, the Bathing Garden Pagan Moon. So I know this has got like strawberry... I can't remember exactly. But it smells fruity, is what it smells like. So. It doesn't smell super strong, so we'll see how it goes. Uh, pumpkin Parcel Scents Summer Nights. Um, this one smells like a cologne, but with some fruity aspects, but it's mostly like a cologne kind of scent. Super Tarts Cranky Kitty, so Ice Lemonade, Lollipops and Grass. I, I really love all of her life, her mousiest scents, so the Ice Lemonade and Lollipops. And it's fantastic with the grass. It's just so fresh and refreshing and nice. This one's carried over a few weeks, but I still want to do it. I haven't touched it yet. Uh, Southbound Cherry Vanilla Cola, so mouthwatering blend of cherry vanilla and cola, um, just like the soda. As always, like I think I've said this a couple of weeks now, it has a funny tone on cold, but it smells good warm. Maple and Waddle, Perry Nice. This was a good pear scent. It's quite strong. I think it's got apple as well, I can't remember. But it's more pear. Clam is, I have been picking, I've been really bad. I keep wrecking these clamshells. They get stuck and then they... Um, I rip them when I open them, so I'm sort of, if I have broken clamshells, I'm trying to use them up before they, the wax dies. Super Tarts, Bebop, and Rocksteady, so uh, Sugar Taffy, Blackberry, and Pineapple. It's funny seeing Bebop. Um, my four-year-old has this very deliberate, um, and has had for a very long time, this very deliberate, um, like, made-up language. Um, or just like words that he says when he wants to be talking gibberish and bebop is one of them he's got bish bosh and bebop and uh biggy bucket and there's a few other words that he just and he just pulls them out so whenever i see bebop i always think of him but this smells i really love her candy her takes on like candy pineapple scents and that's you know just like that uh, Super Tarts Fizzy Lifting Drink, so Fizzy Pop Lemon Custard. Really good, really strong Fizzy Lemonade scent. Super Tarts Brody's Bounty, so Sea Salt, Ozone, Seagrass, Plum Pear, that's Jaws, plus Blackberry. I remember really enjoying this. It's been a while since I melted it, though. Southbound Beach Bum, so oh, there's a dog here. Uh, juicy Melon, Crisp Citrus, Pure Jasmine and Aged Driftwood. This is kind of cute. I feel like the something in here maybe isn't agreeing with me the way I would have liked. There's a sort of cologne type, there's a cologne note to that which I'm not sure about. Uh, pumpkin parcel, red rose, and ruby plum. It's been a long time since I've melted this scent, but it is really nice. I've had this clam sitting there a year, apparently. I've had it since November, so. But it's a beautiful, rich, deep, fruity scent. Um, the Bathing Garden Muse of Nightmares. Someone told me, if you'll have to forgive me, someone told in the comments told me what the notes are on this one, and I've already forgotten. Um, it's very pretty. I will, when I when I post this one on Instagram, I will refer back to that very helpful comment that someone left for me. It's a very pretty, delicate sort of fruity scent. So, and then uh, Super Tarts Bougie Pear. So, Cashmere, Pear, Melon, Sandalwood and Amber. This doesn't smell like much to me at the moment. Um, so, hopefully the throw is not died off on it. It was a very soapy smelling scent on cold. I know it was better warm than it was cold. So, uh, so I've got Scoop, uh, Elfie Waxy Wonders, Blueberry and Cream and Tea and Cakes. This is quite an overwhelmingly kind of sweet blueberry scent. It's not my favourite but it's okay. Um, maple and Wattle, 
so one of her scooper balls in bubbles and boys this is a like cotton candy vanilla champagne it's got something else i don't know it smells amazing though um i love that one in body care products I haven't melted it in a while but i've always enjoyed it let's see if i've got more scoops no no more scoops uh, Teddy Bees, Campfire Stories, so Ooey Gooey S'mores, Cold Night Winds and Sweet Vanilla Woods. This is fantastic. This is like, to me, this is like the sort of woodsy, it's not even super woodsy, but it's more like a camp. It's like Beach Nights is camping at the beach. This one's camping, you know, in the woods. It is so good. It's got that similar sweetness, though. Um... That's Melgood Shop Averbath Honey Mango Sorbet. Um, one of my favourite. This is a custom. Although it wasn't my idea. Um, it smells... I don't like the smell cold. But on warm, her mango sorbet. And her mango sorbet is phenomenal. Just makes that absolutely amazing. Uh, Sassy Girl Aroma Montego Bay. So that's Beach Nights and Blackberry Marshmallow. I wasn't the biggest fan of this melting it. I thought I was going to be because I love Blackberry and I love Beach Nights. But because I'm not the biggest fan of her Beach Nights, it's just only okay for me. So, um, so yeah. I feel like I would like a Beach Nights Blackberry blend from somebody else though. Like maybe L3 because I like her Beach Nights. Um... Yeah. So speaking of um, L3 Waxy Wonder Strawberry Pound Cake Beach Night Santa's on Keto. This is like an ep. This is my idea of a perfect summer bakery. This is a, it's not even it's, an, it's only vaguely bakery, but this is like my ideal sort of summer morning melt um, because I do like those kind of more creamy bakery esque type scents. Um, so yeah, that. I, I think it's on the list for the next restock, and I will be getting more, I think, because I really love it. Uh, Empire Alchemy Capistrano Beach. So Cocoa Butter Cashmere Suntan Lotion Vetiver and Sea Salt. I'm not usually big on suntan lotion scents, but I really enjoy this because I like all the other notes. So I love Cocoa Butter Cashmere. I love Vetiver scents. Um, so that works for me. Have thrown in for blending purposes Super Tarts Bake and Bake. So, um, sugar cookies, zucchini bread, and sweet cream. This one I didn't love at first, but I really enjoy it now. It has grown on me. Um, I had to accept that it is a cookie scent more than it is a zucchini bread scent. Um, once I got my head around that, I enjoyed it a lot more because I love zucchini bread, but um, yeah, that one doesn't really smell like zucchini bread to me. So if you don't like zucchini bread and you're avoiding fake and bake, try it anyway because it doesn't really smell like zucchini bread. Um, Predator from Super Tarts. I can't remember the notes on this, but it is a coffee scent. Uh, that one could be like a cappuccino and coconut pie or something, I think. That sounds about right. Empire Alchemy Peaches and Clean, so fresh air, peaches and palm trees. Heard a lot of good things about this one. Haven't melted it yet. And it is just a very strong, clean peachy scent. Um, that smells good. Be good for some of the nice weather we have coming up. Sassy Girl Aroma Tea with the Dames. Tea and cakes, blackberry jam, butter cookies, cotton candy, sweet lavender. I just want to finish this last chunk. Um, something else for blending. I've got Rose Girls Tea and Cakes, so I really enjoy tea and cakes. Hers is pretty good. But I do find with the mini melters in particular that the wax, a lot of her wax doesn't doesn't throw so well after about a year, so I want to make sure that I do use that up because my baked zucchini bread died um, after about 12 months. Uh, Rose Girls Peach Whale. So this is like peach, some other fruit mango maybe and like coconut it was really nice i didn't make i maybe didn't get the throw that i was looking for but it is a nice scent uh live forever from rose girls so i know this has got like lang lang patchouli and some other stuff 
a really intense patchouli scent to me. I think it's held over in my box a couple of weeks. I haven't been in the mood to melt it. It's definitely one I need to be in the mood for. Uh, Teddy Bee's Three Eyed Raven, Paler, Santo, Sweet Lavender, Vanilla Birch, Marshmallow, Fireside, Cold Air. One of my favourite um, uh, Paler Santo scents. Oh, it smells so good. Um, surprised I didn't reach for that one because that was in my box this week too and I'm surprised I didn't reach for it. Um, Candles for the Keeping Room, Tiffany's Mango Cupcakes. So Cupcakes and Tiffany's plus Mango. I'm very picky with Cupcakes at Tiffany's, but I find it works really well there. Um, yeah, just that fruitiness, I think, really works for me. Sorry. Just trying to make it less, you know, less crazy here. Um, Blended with Love Crust Issues, so Zucchini, Bread, Lemon, Custard and Caramel. I'm not really big on lemon caramel scents, but I love her zucchini bread. It's a pretty intense smelling one, so if you're not a zucchini bread fan, then hers might not be great. But um, it, it worked really well here, I thought. Uh, Maple and Model Sweet Caroline, so one of these cool donuts of hers. I think this one is like bourbon and marshmallow. Yeah, it's a bit on the lighter side, but it smells good, so hopefully it goes okay. Um, L3 Waxy Wonders Blackberry Jam Butter Cookie Zucchini Bread. I remember liking this, but not loving it. I don't think I'm the hugest fan of Blackberry Jam Butter Cookie. Mm, it smells okay. I really like your zucchini bread, so that helps. Definitely helps. Um... Getting to the end, I run through these really quick now, it's good. I have been picking less, although I've got lots of little bits and pieces, so by the time I get to it, it'll probably still be a long video. Sniff My Tarts, Driftwood, Salty Sea Air type, Toasted Marshmallows. I did melt this a few weeks ago, it was nice, but a bit on the soft side, I think, but it was a nice scent. Um... Britta's Creepy Treasures Mad Hatter. So tea and cake, sweet and creamy Danish butter cookies. So this is just like a creamier, slightly sweeter version of tea and cakes. So it was nice. Yeah, it's not bad. It's pretty good. Um, tea Party from Nene's Kitchen Melts. I have a feeling, I'm not 100% sure. I think this is orange tea and crumpets. Um, or, you know, a take on orange tea and crumpets. Orange tea and crumpets being my favourite, like, orange tea scent. Um, the only other vendor I know who offers it sometimes is Ebony Violet. Um, I got a loaf of it from her a while ago, and it smells amazing. So, um, at least from Nene's, it's available all year round. So, whereas uh, Ebony Violet is... Oh, sorry, foot's falling asleep. Ebony Violet's a bit trickier to get stuff from. Um, Bathing Garden Cemetery Keys. So, I think someone said that this was Calacus, but then I read in the group, I think it's actually 29 High Street, which I think is right because I do know my Lush Scents, which is how I knew this was a Lush Scent. And, yeah, Calacus smells more kind of um, fake lime to me. This has that scent in it. It's very unmistakably lush. Um, but, yeah, so I think it's 20... I haven't... Because 29 High Street, I think, didn't start coming out to the stores in Australia until after I... I, I went through a lush phase um, seven or eight years ago, I think. Um, and we didn't have 29 High Street here back then. That came later. So I haven't actually smelled it directly, but I think that is what it is. Um, Kay Scented Melt Sand and S'more. So this is her Beach Nights. I think hers is going to be good. I just like them not to be too heavy on the salty sea air. And I think that's the vibe I get um, from hers. Uh, some Kay Zucchini Bread. So like, like I mentioned, I have thrown in a few of my basic bakery blenders. Just... Just to give me more morning options. Uh, Teddy Bees, you look so good in love. Um, this is, I think, sweet on Paris and something. 
Halfway on Paris and what's that other one that people really like? That sort of blackberry-ish brand. I can't remember. It's a really common one. Um, British Creepy Treasures, Monster Delight. So that's sugar cookie, sugar cookie dough, very vanilla waffle cone and sweet and creamy. Um, this could go either way. And I find that with waffle cone scents. Sometimes I love them, sometimes I don't. Um, really looking forward to the sample from Empire Alchemy, Coachella, so Lush Karma type, Juicy Tangerine and Fraser, Fraser Fur. Um, not enough vendors blend with Lush Karma. I love Lush Karma. And this take on it, if it melts as well as it smells here, is going to be absolutely phenomenal. Like, I never really, I actually thought that Lush Karma was kind of a scent that you just wouldn't be able to blend with, that it was too complex and a bit full on on its own, but that, like, it smells like Lush Karma, but better. So I'm really looking forward to it. Empire Alchemy Cherry Margarita Popsicles, so black cherry, lime juice, vodka, tinder, sea salt. I, this one is very kind of icky black cherry on coal, but I remember liking it warm. So strawberry pound cake from Kay. I may melt it solo just to see if I like it or I may blend it. We'll see how we go. Uh, Empire Alchemy Sunshine and Rainbows. So bergamot green, pineapple, rainbow sherbet. So again, I like pineapple candy scents. I think I'm going to really enjoy that. The bergamot gives it a really interesting twist. Uh, Savannah Blue Star Cross, so Tobacco Violet, um, Vanilla Bean Noel. It's quite an intense violet scent. Um, and then just a couple of shot pots. So, oop, knocking my camera. Uh, so Baby Got Wax Sunset Boulevard. So I'm trying to melt more of my Baby Got Wax. So another Aussie vendor. Um, I find that she's very strong on the fruity scents. So... I ordered a bunch of stuff um, early this year and then just didn't get to it because the weather turned cold. So, um, yeah. I don't really know what this Sunset Boulevard one is, though. It's got a, It's almost got like a creamy, maybe coconut. I don't know. And then uh, Daydreaming, so Bergamot and Banks here. I mean, I suppose that's not really a summer scent, but I just haven't been melting her stuff, so I've got to get into it. Because hers is another brand that I find by the 12-month mark is pretty much done and dusted. So I definitely... I don't have a huge amount to get through, but I definitely need to get through it before the end of the year. I guess this is a pretty pretty kind of bergamot floral-ish scent. Uh, so that is everything in my melting box for this week. Um, I just knocked the camera again. Um, so thank you so much. It's just, it's just me. I think it's leaning up against my chair. So um, I will end it there because I'm making myself seasick watching this. Um, so I hope you're all doing really well. I'll talk to you all again really soon. Bye.